Hi, I'm Brittany from MailChimp. In this video, I'll show you how MailChimp and QuickBooks can help you build stronger relationships and drive sales. Our integration syncs real-time data from QuickBooks with MailChimp, so you'll have a more seamless way to organize and reach your audience, and you'll have less busy work. You can choose MailChimp's pre-built segments and automations to send personalized messages at scale. But before we get started, here are some important things to know. To use this integration, you'll need a MailChimp account and a QuickBooks Online account. You can connect only one MailChimp account to one QuickBooks Online account. So, if your MailChimp account is associated with more than one company, choose which company's account you want to connect to QuickBooks. Lastly, MailChimp and QuickBooks are sold separately. MailChimp's features and functionalities vary by plan. For more information, visit MailChimp's pricing page. Now that covers what you need to get started. Now let's log into MailChimp to connect your QuickBooks account. First, click Integrations. Then, enter QuickBooks into the search. And click on the tile for QuickBooks Online. That will take you to the QuickBooks integration page. And when you click Connect, you're agreeing to our additional App Marketplace terms. So review our privacy policy if you have any questions. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and click Connect. Next, you'll choose the MailChimp audience you want your QuickBooks customer data to sync to. Just use the Select an Audience dropdown to make your choice. And after that, you'll find the dropdown for Select Contact Status. To be on the safe side, only choose Subscribed if you have permission to market to your contacts. We have just a few more steps to go. Up next, click Connect to QuickBooks. And finally, enter your QuickBooks ID and password, and click Sign In. That's it. Just wait for the connection to be made. And then you can review your QuickBooks customers who have synced to MailChimp. To do that, head to Audience, and then click Audience Dashboard. In the sections for Recent Growth and Tags, your QuickBooks customers are automatically labeled. With that, I've covered how to connect our QuickBooks integration. Up next, I'll show you how to use MailChimp's pre-built segments to target your QuickBooks audience. So let's click Audience, and then click Audience Dashboard. Next, in the Current Audience dropdown, choose the audience you want to work with, but make sure it's an audience that's connected to QuickBooks. So now you're on the QuickBooks Audience Dashboard. Let's move to the pre-built segments and I'll briefly touch on top customers. You might define top customers differently from MailChimp. So if you want to change the conditions, click Customize and then make your edits. If you don't need to make changes, hover over the segment you want and click Target with Campaign. I'll go with the segment for top customers. And on this pop-up modal, Select the type of message you want. I'll choose Create an Email. I won't get into details about creating and designing email in this video, but we do have tutorials on both of these topics in our Help Center and on our YouTube channel. If you're new to MailChimp, you should definitely check out our template library to help you get started. You can also use our Creative Assistant to automatically create designs based on your branding. Now that's all I have in this video on pre-built segments. The key takeaway is that using MailChimp segments can help you target your QuickBooks customers with a personalized message. Maintaining a personal touch at scale can be a challenge, but marketing automation can help. Now let's return to the audience dashboard and I'll show you what I mean. Remember, you can get to the dashboard by clicking audience and then clicking audience dashboard. Now, scroll to Suggested Automations. Automations use data from your QuickBooks account, like Purchase History, to automatically send messages to customers who fit certain conditions. And when you automate your marketing, it takes some of the work off your hands. For instance, you don't have to manually send a message every time you want to thank or welcome a customer. And if you're ready to build an automation, click Start near the automation of your choice.
For my example, I'll choose Create Repeat Customers. For the next step, you'll click Use This Journey and build your automation in our Customer Journey Builder. Its features and functions vary by plan, so visit our pricing page to get more details. Moving on, you'll choose the audience for the journey and click Continue. Now you're in a Customer Journey map. This is a visual representation of all the paths a contact can take. Every map begins with a starting point, or what some people call a trigger. In this example, a customer enters the journey map after they make a purchase. The rest of the map is filled with journey points. These are rules like time delay and actions like send email. Pre-built journey maps are fully customizable, so add, edit, or remove journey points to fit your needs. And if you want to use a pre-built map as is, don't forget to build your messages. In my map, I click Create an Email, and then follow the steps in the checklist. And when you're happy with your journey points, click Turn On to activate your map. Now keep in mind, your customers won't be added to an automation if the map isn't activated. I know that was a quick intro to automations, but if you want to learn more about creating and editing a customer journey map, we have tutorials to help you out. And with that, I've covered how to connect your QuickBooks account to MailChimp. And I showed a few ways you can use MailChimp to personalize your marketing. Thanks for hanging in there. As a next step, try one of our pre-built automations or segments. If you'd like more videos and tutorials, check out our Help Center. Bye-bye.